In this presentation, we will format the header of our unadjusted trial balance within Excel. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. We are in Excel. We're currently at 180% on the view. What we're going to do now is add a header for our unadjusted trial balance. This is called the unadjusted trial balance, remember, because we haven't added any adjustments to it yet. We're going to add some room up here so that we can add the header. That's going to be our first task. To add some room, we could do it a few different ways. I like to select the whole set, the whole row if possible. In other words, there's nothing over here that's going to mess us up from dragging the whole row down. And therefore, I'm going to select the whole row. It's a little bit faster and I want to select three rows. So I want to add three rows up top. So we'll select the entire row one through row three. The entire row selected, let go. Put our cursor on the selected area and insert. And now we've got three spaces to enter our new title into. Note that if we do have a header, it's, it's tempting to just do this. To, and so don't do this as just an example. We could type in there, we'll put here unadjusted, unadjusted trial balance. And then we might even want the date in the, in the unadjusted trial balance as well and then say enter and then what we could do is adjust this by then going to the wrap text and then wrap text and then we could just adjust the cell size to make sure that the, the words fit on one in one cell so that's one way we could do it but if there's anything to the left side or the right side over here then this cell is going to be kind of a mess it could mess something up typically that may not be a problem and in th that in that case this method would be fine but uh, usually you might you want to be careful of that method just in case you have to add anything over here which this wide cell would mess up so what we're going to do is try to be within best practices i guess and keep the cells the same size if possible so what we're going to do then is put this into three different uh, columns or rows and we'll type in in b1 the unadjusted and then trial and then i'm hitting enter and then balance so now we have in three different columns i just hit you know one two three and now i can adjust these three we could highlight them if we want to just spell check those three cells instead of the whole workbook i can highlight them and go to the uh, the spell check up top and say all right i didn't mess that up maybe i could still mess it up but <laughs> and then we're going to center this so we can go to the home tab Al uh, alignment group and center them and then I'll make this cell a little bit wider to fit the, the largest word. We could put our cursor right between these and drag over or just double click on it. I'm going to double click and that'll make the cell wide enough that we could see. Now it's possible for us to, to abbreviate. I, sometimes I might just put UNADJ in period. And so that it's a smaller wording. This is not something that we're going to give to someone outside. Typically it's a worksheet. So if we want to abbreviate on a worksheet, that is okay so that's what we have there now we might we might want to put one more cell just to have the date on it so let's add one more i'm going to put my cursor under the four i'm going to put my cursor on the four when i add another cell it's going to be above it so i'm going to highlight the entire row right click and insert and then let's put a date here now the date we want to have i'm just going to put uh 12 31 and note it doesn't take that why because it's not formatted in date format it doesn't know what to do with that it's a number format so we need to change the dates on uh, the formatting so we can go to the home tab numbers and we can go to the number up top here and we can then change the date to the short date or the long date typically short date is what we want and so then let's do this again we're going to say 12 31 that 31 and 1 9 so there we have the long date. Now you may even want to format this a little bit different. If, if this long date is, is taking up too much room by having four, maybe you just want two places on the end. We could right click on that and then go to, go to the format of the cells. And then we're in the date field. We're really looking for something like this. So I want something like that to not have four digits. So we'll say, okay. 
and that's one way we can adjust the date. Now I'm going to go ahead and underline this whole field by going to the home tab font and then not this underline but underline the entire cell and so I want to make sure the bottom border is the one we want. So there we have that and the last thing we might want to do is if you want to make it look more like it's 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 one type of uh, heading we could highlight these and and try to get rid of these grid lines. One way to do that is to go to the fonts go to the paint here and instead of having no fill we could make it just white and that at least within the excel sheet we could see that it's all kind of grouped together then and then we might even want to put a border around it where we could highlight all of these again and then go to the home tab font go to the borders and then maybe we want a thick border around the whole thing we'll adjust this as we add uh, more headers to it but then we could have the border and those are just some ideas where you can make the border look uniform while still having different cells without merging the cells together. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.